I, I was going to ask you, um, why are instances of mental health issues? Why would you say that they've increased? And mm. and also, um, is that just to do with like the increase in reporting, or is there reality behind it? Um, what are what's your take on that? Yeah, so um, I think there's it's probably a combination of both. As I mentioned uh, uh, in my, one of my videos, the latest uh, report by the UN kind of indicates around one billion people worldwide have a, have a mental uh, disorder of some sort, which is subhanAllah uh, crazy because it's like one in eight of the world's population. And if you look at the literature, this you know one in four adults will suffer from a mental illness uh, in a particular year. Um, 100,000 people, we haven't touched on this, but uh, substance abuse and drug addiction is kind of increasing in the US. You've got the fentanyl or the opioid epidemic. Um, so in the last year, the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, they mentioned, they reported that about 100,000 subhanAllah people died of a drug overdose in the US, um, 100,000 people. Um, and they've got this Narcan, which is the antidote kind of available in supermarkets and schools because there's such a, a epidemic uh, of uh, opioid and drug addiction. So it really to kind of answer, I think it's probably because we're getting better. Uh, there's better awareness of mental illness and mental health and mental well-being. So people are more likely to report if they're suffering. There's better access to services. Uh, before, you know, uh, there wasn't as many mental health services, particularly in the developing world now, alhamdulillah, you know, there's a, a, improved infrastructure. And I think the other thing is also, my own reflection, although I haven't got scientific data, I think, you know, the, the breakdown in the family structure. So we know from the data that there are protective factors against mental illness and uh, things that increase resilience. Uh, and one of those things is having a very supportive and nurturing family structure. So especially in the West with the breakdown in kind of families, um, the nuclear family. So now you don't tend to have, you know, a father, a mother, stable home and children. So like when I was in the UK, you know, it was not uncommon for me to see uh, a mother with three children uh, with three different fathers, you know, subhanAllah. So I think because of the kind of the, the breakdown in family structure, I think that has led to an increase in mental illness. Um, and mm. also people, you know, the, the capitalist kind of um, Western secular uh agenda so now you've got militant atheists like you know sam harris and dawkins and these kind of individuals um and this is uh, billions of dollars are kind of uh, invested in promoting this secularism and atheism and i think that tends to lead to nihilism and that tends to lead to mental illness obviously if you don't have a purpose allah SWT mentions in the quran i have not created you except to worship me so once you go away from the, your purpose as a human being, then you're more likely to suffer uh, from, you know, psychological uh, illnesses and, and diseases. And I think, you know, the, uh, again, for example, uh, in the Muslim com community, marriage is being delayed. So there's a lot of sisters um, who unfortunately uh, are unable to get married because, you know, they've pursued the, the careers. And by the time they, they're ready to get married, there's not enough, uh, you know, good brothers out there. And that can also lead to mental illness and, and you know, family issues and social problems. Uh, I think so that, that, that's another factor to consider as well. Mm. Yeah, you've, yeah, you've definitely touched on topics that we like to speak about on this channel, um, Alhamdulillah. So it's, it's nice to hear it from like a practicing um, doctor or specialist yeah. because I've had uh, Ustad Daniel, he had you on here before. Um, I'm going to have him on uh, this month, inshallah, again. I've had uh, yeah. Ustad Gabriel Romani twice and um, we talk about, because it's a fundamental problem, really, the issues with um, the Western kind of secular um, lifestyle, I guess. Um, yeah. So the, the other thing is, uh, the other thing is technology as well. So, you know, young people, uh, and there's a lot of uh, research studies that show that young people are now spending more time on uh, devices, whether that's iPads, mobiles, and that can lead to psychological health issues and lack of social development in terms of social skill development, lack of resilience. So, you know, when we were younger, uh, not that we're kind of revealing our age, but um, 
you know, um, I remember we, I was out hardly in the house. I was out playing, you know, cricket, football. Um, you know, we, we had like a, an Atari or a maximum, you know, a very limited technology available to us. Even a mobile. I only got a, a mobile when I went to uni in 99. So, um, but the thing is that, you know, we, we were able to like socialize and, and I think getting that natural exercise releases endorphins, which helps with mental, uh, mental well-being. Um, but now kids are just indoors, isolating themselves on devices. Uh, and that, that is also a major factor in why people uh, can develop psychological and uh, emotional health problems.